We are underway at the Orleans Arena here in Las Vegas. Going into the WCC tournament, we talked about just enjoying it. Enjoy the process. These two teams are going to get up and down the floor, and we're going to have a lot of fun bringing this one. Being with a group of girls that work so hard and being with coaches that believe in us so much, like, it just changes everything. The three seed goes down, and the Dons advance. Coach AZ, Coach Blair, and Coach Styers have done such a great job building a foundation of the right players. Spates on the rebound, out to Dykes, and quickly with a three-on-two advantage. Silent for three, and we're tied at 45. Getting into the end of season, getting into postseason, it boils down to the team that wants it more. Winston on the run. Winston's going all the way. Lakova with the left hand and off the glass. And that's it. San Francisco upsets San Diego. The San Francisco Dons embark on a postseason journey for the 2015 Women's National Invitation Tournament for the first time in 13 years. It's bittersweet that you know we went into the first game, played phenomenal, and ended up coming up short. But at the same time, in order to move on to the second game, third game, fourth game, you have to know what it feels like to taste the first. They know they've put the work in, and now they want to see this thing through. They want a WCC championship, and they want to take, take this thing as far as they can in the NCAA tournament. I think so much of the, the success of the great programs in the country is, it, is continuity. Programs that have consistency in, in players and staff and you know, I think now that we've established that and our players have been through the building process together, now they have confidence going into you know, this upcoming season and that's I think why you know, the best programs tend to, to stay that way because now there becomes a history of now our seniors know what it's like so then they teach the freshmen. Every year is a new year. It's a new team. It's a new season. This year we have a lot of new players and so we've got to make sure that, that we build our chemistry and that everyone is gelling in on the same page by the time we start. Next. Together! One, two, three! Together! Catch at the three-point line or above the three-point line. Ready? Go! At USF we take great pride in, you know, simply the word work. And in practice our players know that it's going to be hard, it's going to be challenging. Practice is everything because practice has got to be harder than the games. It's got to prepare you so that the games are easy. We've got to have better communication, we got to hit layups, we got to do all the details right. Everyone comes in with a different style and it's important to get us all on the same page. Here you go, Ralph. Attack! Be in attack mode, good! Keep thinking when you're in attack mode, you want to get to the rim and either counter or then you got to jump stop. Attack, 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 be in attack mode. There you go, Nene. Anytime you add seven newcomers into a nucleus of players that have, you know, obviously been through the wars with us and who have understand the system, understand the USF way, it's been an interesting process. Coach Azy's been probably more patient than she's ever been because we know that we have to have several of them be key contributors this season. Hold your fall through, Zane. There you go. Nice job, you guys. Good work. I think we've got a very talented group of guards. We've got a nice combination of athleticism and skill, and we have Z back as a, as a four-year starter at the point guard spot, and then we have Rauschen coming in from Salt Lake, she's from Sweden, played internationally, so she'll be able to step into the point guard spot as well. And I think the two of them, you know, they battle each other at practice. I think they're gonna be a great combination this season. Our wings, we're gonna have Rachel Howard back this year. She's been out for about nine months with a knee injury and uh, she looks really strong. She's shooting the ball well. And Kaylin Simon is really stepping up as a perimeter player. And, then we have Nini Salmi from Finland who's come in and really playing very, very strong right now. And then we have uh, Anna still on the wing, great three-point shooter. And then we've got a very young inside game overall because a number of our freshmen are post players. But we've got an, a block presence this year that I hope can really emerge with, you know, both with Michaela and with Zane. You know, Taylor is just She's playing better than I've ever seen her. Nice, hey. Game winner. And Claudia Price has really come in strong too with, she just has a tremendous amount of skill. 
and uh, has really been great with our younger posts as well. In our program we talk a lot about being selfless and what it means to, to be the ultimate giver. Don't even think about your stats, your points, whatever, your minutes, because everything that you do for the team will contribute to wherever we go this season. It's about working together and building off of each other to, you know, get the win. Play free, you guys. Play free, have fun, and connect. And I promise you, the more you connect with each other, the easier this game is and the more fun it is. Everything we do, you can tell that there's a mentality that we want this. We've been putting in the time, the effort, the work, the blood, sweat, and tears every day. And I'm ready just to, as a team, go out there and show them that we're here to stay.